Now, been two weeks since Sebastian Rogers was reported missing. Crews have searched high and low and followed every lead, but still no signs of the Hendersonville teen. So last night, the community came together for a prayer vigil. Dozens of people showed up wearing green, Sebastian's favorite color. Sebastian's biological father, Seth Rogers, attended that candlelight vigil and for the first time spoke at length about his son's disappearance. Nick is live from our Five Alert Center this morning. And Nick, this is his first mm -hmm. television interview and it's with you. That's right. You know, he's issued a few brief statements by phone, but uh, the rest of the time he says he's been spent focusing on the search for his son, but now finally speaking out publicly on TV. Two weeks after the teen disappeared, the father says he's not giving up hope. I'm hoping he's still alive. You know, that that's that's my main hope right now. That is his focus. Seth Rogers wants to believe his son is still alive somewhere. He says he is in contact with law enforcement every single day. And like them, he says he is completely at a loss to explain exactly what happened to his son. It's a mystery. The working story, of course, is that Sebastian, who has autism, walked away from his Hendersonville home in the middle of the night, barefoot and alone. But Rogers says no. He says it makes absolutely Absolutely no sense that search crews and bloodhounds have found no trace of the boy and he says Sebastian was not the type of child who would just wander away like this on his own. In order for him to actually do something that's out of the normal, something would have had to happen that he just felt that he couldn't deal with anymore. What that is and how, no one really knows, and Seth Rogers can't explain that. But I can tell you, he doesn't want, like to think that this is a possibility, but he does not rule out uh, the chance that there is foul play involved in what happened to his son. He knows that if his son could, he would, and is very able, he knows how to work a phone and communicate, he would reach out to the father for help. I can tell you, Seth went on to uh, share a number of other new details, not only about the investigation, but personal details about his son which may help in finding him. I'll have much more on this later this morning and tonight on News Channel 5 at 5 and 6.